Hope you're ready for some 70 degree temperatures because today's day one of springtime warmth. Four to five days at or above 70 degrees is expected, so let's find out what's going to come up in the next couple days. This is also serving as a test video for my new computer, seeing how well it performs and if it performs well. I'll try to make a more detailed video than I have in years past for my winter weather verification and way too early prediction for next winter. So the first in Portland and Eugene at each major temperature threshold for 70 degrees. This occurred in late February in both 1968 and 1988 at the Portland airport in Eugene. This occurred earlier in February occurring on Valentine's Day in 1916. And in 80 degrees, we're entering that season where 80 degrees does become possible. That occurred on March 16th, 1947. And in Eugene, this did occur later on March 29th, 1926. And for 90 and 100 degrees, we have a month and a half plus before we need to worry about those types of temperatures. So why March is the start of the warmer wave season? This is because from November to the middle of February, most of the record high temperatures occurred during either Pineapple Express events or windstorms. Pineapple Express events are when we get a river of moisture in the atmosphere running up from the tropical Pacific, generally Hawaii or that vicinity, moving up to Oregon and Washington. Both that setup and windstorms scour out the colder air that tends to get trapped in the Willamette Valley, especially when a ridge forms. The Willamette Valley is an ideal place for inversions because cold air does tend to be more dense and then we have mountains on the west and mountains to the east and mountains to the south so that can trap the colder air during this three month period because of the weaker sun angles so that's why we get inversions during this time and temperatures don't get as high as it otherwise could by March in Portland, the sun angle is high enough that it's able to mix out the atmosphere and scour out the colder air. In Eugene, they can take advantage of that a little bit earlier because they are a little bit further to the south. Hence why their first 70 degree temperature occurred two weeks earlier. And also in February in Eugene, it's hit, it has hit as high as 78 degrees before. Now by March, Portland is able to take care take advantage of that higher sun angles, which evens out the temperature records and Portland becomes warmer than Eugene again in terms of temperature records, typically speaking. So how rare is this length slash intensity of warmth? For the streaks of 70 degrees or more, only twice has it been five days or more in March at the Portland airport, 25th through the 30th in 1941 and the 17th through the 21st in 1970. However, for the intensity, this is not as unprecedented. Five days are all at or above 77 degrees at the Portland airport. I'm not even forecasting 77 degrees, though I cannot rule out a small chance that it does hit that high. First place was that aforementioned March 16th, 1947 date at 80 degrees, while the second through the fifth we're all at 77 degrees exactly, most re recently occurring in 2013. And as a side note, downtown has hit 83 degrees before on March 28th, 1930. And to me, that symbolizes that under the correct setup, it is possible to get in the mid 80s in March. Now, March of 1947 was the greatest warm wave in the month with three days at or above 75 degrees in a row, combining both intensity and length. Four days were at or above 74 degrees, with the fifth day just barely reaching under 70, preventing it from being part of this five-day or more streak here. Now, all four of these days from the 14th through the 17th are daily record high temperatures that still hold to this day, and the low temperatures were pretty comfortable being in the lower 40s. Now, in today's forecast, I'm not anticipating low temperatures being as cold as they were back then because the urban heat island 
has grown due to Portland being built out more than it has been in the past. The urban heat island affects low temperatures far more than it affects high temperatures. So on to the forecasts. Portland, I'm expecting 70 degrees today, 74 degrees both on Saturday and Sunday. And on Monday, I'm anticipating a daily record high temperature of 76 degrees before cooling off on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with Tuesday still expecting in, in the low 70s, while Wednesday and Thursday being to more typical March weather of being in the 50s with Thursday a chance of rain occurring. Low temperatures will be consistently in the 40s. And in Corvallis, I am anticipating the high temperatures to be a touch colder than Portland from Saturday through Monday with high temperatures only in the lower 70s. But the cool-off still occurs Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with high temperatures also reaching back to typical March conditions. Low temperatures, however, will start colder than Portland with it being in the upper 30s, maybe the lower 40s, and then warming up to the mid 40s as clouds start to increase Tuesday morning. So that is it for this video. This will be my only update on this event. The next video most likely will be my winter weather verification and the way too early prediction for next winter. I intend on making it longer than the last couple of years, um, but stay tuned for that. I anticipate that will be out probably April 1st or 2nd so that I can get the accurate snow tail data for my April 1st prediction on that. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, if I don't talk to you, then please stay safe out there. Enjoy the sunshine and take care.